Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do this is kind of like a special, I guess. This is a new moon reading. This is not going to be, well, you could call it a daily because, you know, it's for the new moon, but I'm still going to do a daily for tomorrow. I'll do that at night, though, tonight. But anyway, this is just a bonus. This is just like a new moon reading. Okay, fourth, fifth, sixth. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. I don't know why I've been called to do this, but I'm going to listen. And that's what this is about. It's about listening. It is about listening. It's about listening to your intuition. It's about starting over. It's about releasing, right? It is about releasing. Um, you know, this is the time when you make that choice as to whether you're going to stay where you're at or you're going to move forward. Now, this is about taking action. It's manifestation. <laughs> that is what new moons are about. It's about setting your intentions. Get out that piece of paper and set your intentions. Take action to bring success to your life. Make sure that you are being realistic, realistic with your intentions. Right now, you have the power. You have the divine help right now. They are listening. Use this energy. Use this time to your advantage. You have the power to manifest at this time. Really pay attention to your thoughts. Ones, one, one, one. Your thoughts become things. Whatever you are thinking during this new moon period from 4th to the 5th, that is what you are manifesting. In, in six months time, that's what you will get. Approximately. So really be careful. Be careful what, you, what you're wishing for. Be careful what you're thinking. If you're thinking negative, you better change it. And I would change it immediately. Are you ready? Are you ready to get rid of that negative energy? Because right now is the time to release it and manifest something better right now. Where do you want to be in October? Where do you want to be in October? Think about that. Set those intentions. Call it in. Take action. You have the power. But you have to take action. But you think about the magician. The magician is about shedding the old. You have to shed the old. You have to be willing to shed the old. That means you can't hang on to it. What no longer serves you has to go. It has to go for you to receive something better. So right now is the time. If you continue to hold on to what, to lack, if you continue to hold on to things that don't want you or don't serve you, then that's where you're going to be. You have to take action. Really pay attention. Make sure that you are wide awake at this time. Be willing to let go. Be willing to let go. When you allow, when you let go, you, you call in something better. You do. You have the power right now. That It's in your hands today. It's time to live again. It's time to wake up. Come out of your slumber. Let go of those old ideas. Those old dead ends. That emptiness. It's time to live again. 
It's time to build a new foundation, but you have to take action. You have the power. You have all those resources within you to come out of this. You do, but it's up to you. Nobody's going to do it for you. Yes, they are assisting you. They are. But if you are not aware of their assistance, then you're in trouble. You have an opportunity to start over. And it may not be pretty. It may not be easy. It may be a little scary to start at the very beginning and to learn new tricks and to learn new things and to go down that path you've never went down. But you have the skills to do it and you will learn new things along the way that are going to build your character. It's time to find your focus and your backbone to stick with a task. It's time for you to take charge of your life right now. You are being given that big, huge opportunity to start over right now. Somebody's been, been avoiding it though, right? With the tower reversed, avoiding change. You know, the universe has tried to instill change. They have done something to get you to step off the beaten path, but somebody isn't in fear. You know, they're not allowing the change. They're trying to avoid the change. And the universe is saying, no, 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 no. It's time for this change. It's time for the change. Unless you want to live in a false situation where... There's no stability, there's no structure, it's not stable, it's not safe, it's eventually going to collapse anyway. Well, it's, it's inevitable. I mean, it's time for a change, and it's time for you to take action, and it's time for you to wake up. You can't avoid it forever. The universe has been, has, has probably removed something from your life and somebody is clinging to it. Refusing to see it for what it is. It was a blessing in disguise. It's time to wake up. It's time to go down that new path. It's time to broaden your horizons. It's time to start over. Stop holding on to the faults Whatever it is that you're holding on to, it's false. It can't be fixed. And it's time to rebuild your life. Right now. Right now. <laughs> King of Pentacles reversed. We have somebody here that is very materialistic. They may feel like they're not good enough. Somebody that, you know, may be thinking that financial blessings or money or is, is more important than love. Right? More important than anything else. We have somebody here that's focused on greed and ego. They're not being very wise. The universe is trying, this is the universe, is trying to get you to look at love. The devil. <laughs> Oh my God, Does you know what the devil does? The devil instills fear to keep you stuck on things that are unhealthy for you. The, e the, the devil is fueled by ego, <laughs> it is, the shadow, the unseen. It, 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 it's very materialistic energy. It's, this is, you know, all the desires, the wants, the things that we don't need that provide, you know, instant gratification but nothing long term 
we have somebody here that is letting their ego and their fear and basically Satan control them. Being controlled. by ego somebody needs to take back control of their lives and break free from the unhealthy toxic behaviors of their past You have the fa you have the power. You have the power to break free. You have it. You can do it. Don't let your ego get in the way. Where's the love? Because I haven't seen the love yet here. And if there isn't no love, <sighs> that's a sad place to be in. Greed again. Somebody is, is wanting to appease. They're letting they're letting basically Satan take over. Hmm. Now, somebody is being tested, right? <laughs> yeah, somebody is being tested. This is a quiet test. It's a test of all that is practical, all that is wise, all that is secure. It's a test. It's a test of integrity. Hmm. It is a test of integrity. It is. Somebody's integrity is being tested, right? Hmm. King of Wands reverse. Somebody has lost their focus. They have. They've lost their focus. They've lost their concentration. They're focused on ego. I'm sorry. The King of Wands reversed and the King of Pentacles reversed and the Devil card. We got ego all over in this reading and it is sickening. Absolutely sickening. Sickening. It's time to take action and somebody's not taking action. It's like they, they're, they're so worried about what everybody else is going to say. It's, a, it's what, you know, keeping up with the Joneses, keeping up with everybody else, keeping up with the world, you know. I thought we were going through a, an awakening here. You know, I thought that the world was waking up. That's what I thought, you know. People are given being given the power to wake up right now. But some people aren't, you know, this is a, you know. You want to wake up? You want to you want to allow yourself to wake up or do you want to be controlled? What's it going to be? This is a divine connection. You could say that this is a higher power. It is. There's that you are being given the power to right now to break free from your ego, to break the chains, to break free from toxic, unhealthy situations that are holding you back from true success. You know, you think about ego. I gotta have that beautiful car. I gotta have that beautiful house. But there's no love there. You can have that beautiful house. There's no love there. All driven by ego. It's time. It's time. It's time to take back your power. It's time to set some boundaries. It's time to take that big ass sword, that, that sword of truth, that sword of power, and cut the cords with Satan, basically. Take back control of your life. It's time to live again. Stop holding on to lies. I'm sure this isn't what you want to hear. It's time to be honest with yourself. It is. I feel as though, you know, 
it's time for a change it's to, it is this is this is temperance it's this is evolving this is a transformation this is a transition it is time for change it's time to bring back balance and harmony it's time for you to find peace it's time for you to be at peace it's time for you to receive a blessing but you have to take action whatever has fallen apart whatever fault structure that you are holding on to whatever false foundation you are holding on to the universe has caused this upheaval in your life because you have a better blessing coming but you got to open your eyes and you got to see it and you got to let go of the tie to the false foundation okay but right now the devil has control because of ego pride you know pride The need to prove to everybody, that's ego. This is a card of renewal. It's time. It's time for a renewal. Somebody has been trying to escape probably with some sort of addictions here trying to escape uh, reality but the reality is whatever it is that you're addicted to or whatever it is that you're hanging on to is is causing a lot of emptiness it's causing a lot of um, unhappiness here there's there's no love here there's no love here there's none there isn't there's no love there's no love There's no love. <laughs> Somebody is sabotaging themselves with some serious obsession. This is an obsession. Somebody is obsessed with something that is not good for them. It's time to break free. It is time to take a new approach. It's time to cut the cord with the toxic situation that is hindering your success. Now is the time to face your demons, face your fears, face your shadow. You know, the devil is ruled by shadow. It's ruled by the hidden, the things that you can't see. The devil wants you to be stuck. It does not want you to see the light. It does not want you to wake up. You have the power to take back your life, to take control, to break free, to bring success. But money, <laughs> money can't buy love there's no use having a big house or having any of that if there is no love there Somebody may receive a message that they don't want to hear, just saying. Maybe you're hearing it right now. Um, somebody may receive a message that uh, makes them feel conflicted. Maybe they have received some, some messages that, um, from, some, from another person that, you know, is asking them to go down a new path and, and they're afraid. You see where he's looking. He's like, there's this big opportunity being offered, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid to you know, start over, definitely. We have somebody here that is afraid to start over. Um, but the Five of Pentacles reverse, this is beginning to realize that there is, a, there is an opportunity, there is help available. It's the end of difficulty. It's like it's time to come out of this darkness. Maybe somebody is beginning to realize that 
with endings bring new beginnings. Death. <laughs> it's a blessing in disguise, unfortunately. Endings happen for a reason. The universe comes in to cleanse and clear people out of your life to bring, there's a purpose, this is a card of purpose, to bring you what you are meant to have, to bring you the gold, okay? To bring you a blessing. It is a blessing in disguise. Somebody has had a completion in their life, a big one, okay? And this has happened because it's time to live again, okay? It's time for your rebirth. It's time for your new life. That's what this is. With endings bring new beginnings. This is a change. A major change. Universally driven. It's time to stop holding on. It is. It's time to stop holding on to whatever has ended, okay? Whatever has ended, it's time it's time for you to make that clear cut. Like I said, I know that it's not easy. I know that it's not easy. Trust me. Been there, done that, and it is not easy. But it's time to start over. It is. It's time for your transformation. So somebody here has the opportunity to make a clear cut. Somebody is maybe deciding to You see, this is like walk away from their demon. Just, just walk away. It's like the time is now. It is. The time is now. Somebody here has been holding on to a situation that they felt like it was stable. They felt like it was, maybe they were holding on just because of the money. This is usually the miser card, right? Greed. Greed has held somebody back. Still, there is no love. No love in these cards. None. It is time, none, none. No cups, no love. None. The devil is truly, truly, truly in control at this point. The devil does not want you to feel love. They want you to feel lust, instant gratification, and that is it. They want you to They want to keep you trapped. They want to be in control. We have an outer force that is trying to control. Somebody has allowed it. Somebody has allowed it, okay? But we may have somebody who's waking up here. Hopefully. We have a transition anyway, which is good. We do have a transition and a transformation. An ending. So if somebody, something is ending. Somebody may be deciding to, you know, come out of this difficult period. Maybe they're deciding to walk away from a dead end. That they've held on to just because it was stable. It, it, it felt like it was stable. It was comfortable. It was safe. Maybe it wasn't comfortable because he didn't look too comfortable. It wasn't comfortable, but he pretended it was comfortable. He handled it well. He did handle it well. 
So we had somebody here that has been really trying to protect. It's like protect or, or, or hide something. But I think now that now we have somebody that is recognizing that it's time. It's time for a change. It's time to fly. It's time to bring victory and success. It's time for a change. It's time to bring balance and harmony back to my life. I think we have somebody here that is making a decision. It's like they're being divinely guided with a hair of mop. It's like their, their, their inner guide is telling them that it's time to go down that new path. It's time to believe. It's time to have faith. It's time to trust. time to commit to a higher plan, a higher power. Anyway, I think somebody's higher power. It's like these two are fighting each other. Okay, it is. It's like the higher power, basically, you could call your higher power, whichever you use for a higher power, is, is fighting against the ego, you know, these two are, it's like they're in a battle here, and, you know, you have to, now you have to get involved, <laughs> that's what this is, too, somebody is, is probably deciding, you know, that it, it's time to start over, it's time to live again, it's time to go down that new path, I can't, I can't, um, put any focus into this dead end anymore, so I feel like we have somebody here that is, going to be awakened in regards to the demons that they have been stuck on and they're probably going to break free they're probably going to use that big old sword and make a swift like i said it's going to be a swift and i think it could happen quite suddenly it's like there's this some sort of epiphany that's just like you know what it's time to go it's time to go it's time to i just cut it to the star so this is it's, it's time to go after my dreams it's time for wish fulfillment it's time for me to receive the blessings that i deserve it's time for me to heal so I feel like we have somebody that is going to have this renewed hope. You know, maybe this just happens overnight. I don't know what happens, but it feels as though there's a blessing coming because somebody decides to. So I believe that somebody is going to step forward in blind faith. They're going to decide that it's time. It's time for a change. It's time for me to live again. It's time for me to let go of this false stability okay somebody has held on to something purely because of ego and pride and I think we have a major transition here a major transformation it's like all of a sudden somebody gets some sort of epiphany that it's time it's time to live again it's time to go it's time for me to to you know go after my dreams follow my dreams they get this, I mean, if you see that star card that I had there, the camera died. I need new batteries. Both my batteries are old, which I'm going to order them today. So anyway, um, the star is about hope, this newfound hope. I think this, that we have somebody here that, you know, is deciding that I'm going to bring peace of mind back to my life and break free from these chains. So... That's what it looks like to me. We have a new beginning here. For whoever it is that's taking action to cut the cord with the, their toxic situation that they have held on to. Their lie. Okay. So I feel like we have somebody that is going to be recognized for their valor. Okay. They're going to be recognized for their integrity once they break this chain. I feel as though peace and harmony is going to come back like pretty quickly pretty quickly um, once they allow once they stop fighting the change but fighting the change is bringing disharmony it's bringing chaos it's bringing lack it's it's causing a loss because the thing is is that's what the devil does it brings you instant gratification then it takes it away it brings it and then it takes it away and that's what's happening here and we have somebody that has been so focused on getting it it's like yeah so they get up they get up they get up it's like they get the, they get what they want you know they get their uh, money or they get their you know house or whatever it is you know they get their thing you know and they're all fulfilled and they're all happy and they're like yay and then the devil says oh that felt good didn't it 
rip it away that kind of energy so you know the thing is if you would have focused on love in the first place it wouldn't have happened because love comes first they're trying to, whatever anyhow I don't know where that message came from, but anyway. <laughs> Get one of these. Ooh, say what you mean. Say what you mean. 18, that's funny. Take some time to clarify what you need to communicate and to whom. Honest communication begins with you. Take a moment to connect within and ask yourself in what area of your life are you hiding and denying how you feel. <laughs> oh, does your relationship with your partner need revamping? Are there things that are not working? Who are the people in your life that you must be honest with? This is an opportunity to take back your power, which I already said from the very beginning. It says it. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. And share clearly, wisely, and honestly what does and do it does not work for you. It's time to be honest. It's time to come clean. It's time to take action. When you feel vulnerable, you can easily, you can be easily swayed to say what you feel the other person wants to hear in order to keep the peace. The message of this card is that you need to say what you really mean, whether someone else likes it or not. It's time to take back your power. It is. Time to break free from your ego, okay? Communicate. This is an opportunity for victory and success when you come out of hiding, when you, when you allow yourself to live again, when you allow yourself to start over, when you stop holding on to a toxic situation that really isn't real. A fantasy. It's time to get real. Be honest with yourself. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. That's kind of the message, this, this card. And the other ones too. When you have to appease everybody but yourself, that is ego. And the devil is in control. It's time for a change. It's time for release. It's time for you to live again. Stop holding on to some sort of fantasy, please. Be honest. Good luck.